Catching up with the head coach of the Edmonton Wildcats, this is Darcy Park. And coach, I just talked about the season, obviously disappointed you didn't make the postseason, but did you feel you, you laid some good uh, foundation? Yeah, I think, you know, our, again, our conference is really tough and we had a, a young team going in and, uh, you know, in a lot of games we were close. We lost a lot of games in the final minutes of uh, games and, you know, losing by single digits. So uh, we got a good group of kids coming back and I think that uh, they're motivated to, you know, kind of put the past season behind us and, and move forward. One of those good kids, Tony Savjak, he's the CJFL Rookie of the Year. Just talk about what what you saw from him. Yeah, I mean, he came in and starting at safety, and obviously that's a, a really important position in, in our in our game. And, and he came in, and he's a student of the game. Uh, you know, did a good job of picking up the concepts we were trying to do and, and become a leader. We had a young group in the secondary, and uh, he took charge of it. And again, I think those guys are all going to push each other in the offseason to have a great year next year. He told me only four games of experience in between all your DBs last year. That's amazing. Yeah, and 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 we thought that that was going to be a, a weakness in our in our set in our team. And and they actually, by the end of the year, that was one of our strengths. I think you know, you look at. Um, you know, we had Jaden Dalkey, who was a rookie starting at corner, matched up against the best receivers in, in our conference. And, you know, uh, Tafara Nutuambe, another young guy, uh, and another rookie from McNally, uh, who, uh, you know, came in. And, and they, like I said, as the season went on, they gelled and they pushed each other. And then uh, ultimately, uh, you know, they're going to be a group that uh, moving forward will be someone we count, people we count on. Let's look at 2016. What are some of the holes? Obviously, you feel that you lose a couple key players, but going into 2016, where do you want to fill? Yeah, well, we graduated our, our fifth-year quarterback, Jordan Olson. He ended up being the all-time leading passer in Wildcat history, so that's something that he can be proud of. But we're pretty comfortable with uh, two veterans we have returning in Colton Hippie and Justin Swedish. Uh, uh, Hippie's going into his fourth year, which is kind of the way you want it layered, and Justin's going into his third. So there's going to be a, a nice competition all offseason for, for those two guys. And then, obviously, we need to get better on the O-line. Like this, this league, if nothing else, watching the Hilltops and, and the teams that run the playoffs, uh, their offensive and defensive lines were are obviously very good, and we need to make sure we're better at that spot. And then again, it's just uh, recruiting a couple more Tony Savchuks who can come in and, and, and help us compete right away, and, and give those kids an opportunity to to develop as football players. And, and I think we'll be we'll be fine. One in seven. Um, it, we're starting our recruiting process, and, and there's a, a nice positive uh, vibe about our team. I think obviously having a two times getting the past commissioner's award for community service. That's something we sell the players about the involvement that our team does in the community and and uh, par or parents and the kids of the kids we're recruiting recognize that that's important. I wanted to ask you about that because the Wildcats, one of the leaders in the community as far as across the, the Canadian Junior Football League, do you preach that? Do you, do you not demand your players to be in, involved in the community, but really get them and push them out there? Absolutely. I think, it, well, it started uh, with our old GM, Al Park. He, uh, he believed that uh, like junior football is uh, it's a it's a community service uh, organization it's not only just a sports team and then we were fortunate enough to get Megan Towner on and she kind of took it the bull by the horns in terms of uh, you know making contact with the organizations around Edmonton and giving those kids an opportunity and I think now what we've seen is our guys have done a great job over the past three years when they go out and those organizations are letting other organizations know that if you need help or if you need something the Wildcats are a viable option to, to go in and, and help them with their events. Has 2016 started for you guys? Oh, absolutely. I mean, obviously, we got uh, the Huskies in our in our city, so uh, you know we're both working hard to get better and be able to be here at some point in the next couple of years. Thanks for doing this. Good luck, Nick. Thank you, Ron. Darcy Park, the head coach of the Edmonton Wildcats.